kind of chilly this morning. We had a pretty good windstorm that came through. I think it was gusting like 55 miles an hour. And I heard the wind coming and so I rushed out here to get little Finn out of his coop because we've had his coop flip before in high winds. And it was no longer that I got Finn inside and threw him in the bathtub that I heard a crash, a bang, and I looked out the window and his coop was thrown into this fence over here. Luckily, it didn't like break the fence, didn't damage the fence itself. It just like moved these T posts and it ended up actually moving our wooden post down there that's attached to our gate so much so that the post is like twisted now to where the latch doesn't line up with the gate. The other coop down there where Uni was staying the top of that coop somehow flipped open and it uh, tore screws out from the flip top there. But there again, easy to fix. The chickens are still staying in their chicken coop. We're trying to at least give it like a week from the time that the Cooper's Hawk attacked Uni. This morning I started some dough because I'm going to be making some calzones later today. I haven't made them in a while, so. It's just so weird coming out here without Uni because the first thing I did every morning was let Uni out and feed him a treat and spend time with him and uh, it's really taken some getting used to. But I want to thank all you guys for your kind comments and condolences. It hasn't been easy. I did put one single egg in the incubator. <laughs> I might be crazy but the joy that I had from having Uni around just far outweighed the pain of losing him and I would do it all over again. Glenn thinks that I should have a pet that doesn't die so easy. <laughs> um, so we've been talking about me possibly getting a puppy but thing is, is I want to make sure that it's going to be a breed that I can train to work really well with the chickens. The last thing I want to do is bring a dog in here that is going to munch on my chickens. So. It's supposed to warm up later today, but it sure is chilly right now. I got my kombucha steeping. I'm just waiting for that to cool off. And my bread to finish rising for my calzones. I'm gonna come out and check on these maple buckets. I'm on the verge of pulling the buckets, pulling the taps. But we actually have a cool snap coming over the next few days with cool nights and warm days. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave them up through that and see if we get anything else but we haven't had anything in probably two weeks maybe longer i'm not sure and for us this actually hasn't been the most amazing maple syrup season i think last year we ended up with a gallon of finished syrup maybe slightly more and this year we've gotten like three quarters of a gallon so I was hoping maybe we would get one more run, but I kind of would be surprised. Huh. This tree is actually dripping and had some in it, which I didn't know, but I don't know how old it was, but it looked pretty cloudy. So I just dumped it and uh, probably wasn't any good. And it wasn't that much anyway, but it is actually dripping a little bit. So I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy. Another thing that I'm looking for, of course, is do these maples have buds on them? And so far, most of them don't. Oh, I've got a bucket that's out in the woods out here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get retrieved. Pretty blew off during that windstorm. Down here on this trail here, this is another one that I tap later. You can see all this stuff here that's sprouted. This is autumn olive, and it is always the first thing to go. These trees are just so cool. I guess, I don't know my trees very well, to be honest. I guess this is like a shag bark hickory, if I'm correct. I don't know, is that what that is, guys? I did get an email today saying that my American breast hatching eggs are on the way. 
which is wonderful and I'm excited but at the same time I'm kind of wondering what I do now about the little egg that I have in the incubator. Unfortunately I don't actually think that the hen that I had in there with Uni was mated with by Uni. He seemed to be like not that interested in the hens. I don't know. Uni was strange. <laughs> um, but what I do know is that whatever egg is in the incubator is probably a Favarol egg just because of the color and size of it. Um, and I do know that it's been fertilized by Nonami, which is Uni's brother. I'm cool with that. And then Ami is a good chicken. Taking the chickens a snack and then I need to go finish my calzones. This is actually eggs back from when we gave them their treatment and I've just been giving them a little bit all this time. They've been laying really good. Oh my goodness, how am I not gonna lose a chicken doing this? Oh, this is sketchy. Look, it's over there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's give Finn some. Finn is such a strange little chicken. But so is Uni. <laughs> Just go stare at it. It's good, Finn. Eat it. So I don't know that I'm going to be putting out a Saturday video this week. I might be taking a little bit of a break and we have something going on probably this weekend. It probably wouldn't hurt for me to take a little break right now anyway. As you can tell, I'm just kind of like hanging low right now. The whole losing uni thing is just really got me a little down, I guess. But it's getting better. my calzones doing their second rise and then about an hour hour and a half I'll get those in the oven but while I'm waiting for that I'm gonna get these chickens out of this chicken coop for a little while and let them run around while I clean the chicken coop and just kind of supervise them until they go in there to bed but they need to get out of there I think tomorrow it's gonna be like a whole week that they've been in there so they're gonna be pretty excited to get out of there freedom That's all done. Now I'm just gonna let them spend the rest of their evening out here taking dust baths and having a good time. And uh, get my calzones in the oven and just kind of enjoy the rest of the evening out here with them. I'm left to drown. 